All right, we continue to follow this developing story. The U.S. Secret Service has suspended four agents linked to two men accused of impersonating federal law enforcement officers. The phony cops bribed agents with gifts worth thousands of dollars and free apartments in Washington, D.C. The two Washington men appeared in federal court yesterday after being arrested. According to Real Clear Politics, two agents were assigned to the president and the vice presidential detail. Police have also found weapons and a device uh, to locate hidden cameras. These guys are obviously spies. Well, let's talk about this and welcome in former Trump 2016 foreign policy advisor and Newsmax contributor George Papadopoulos. Wow, George, the Secret Service has got some cleaning up to do, don't they? Absolutely, John. And uh, this is a dire reminder for the United States that both our enemies abroad and domestically will leave no stone left unturned in order to both destabilize and potentially harm our country violently. The most uh, disturbing evidence and uh, information that's come out thus far about these uh, two agents has been that they were actually on the um, detail for First Lady Jill Biden. Now, why would our Secret Service agents be accepting gifts from two foreigners, first of all? Second of all, why were these two individuals not vetted? And third, we should also applaud the courageous effort by the U.S. Postal Agency, yes. which actually unearthed uh, the uh, information that has led to these two individuals being arrested and now facing federal charges. So uh, this is something that I really think is, uh, is a reminder that uh, we do need to vet our uh, personnel a lot more closely to assure that this type of, in this type of behavior stays as far away as possible from those that are uh, basically um, supposed to be protecting the first family. That's such an important point you raise there, too, because this is the hard work of a Postal Service investigator. I mean, the FBI can't even find the Capitol uh, Hill <laughs> bomber with video evidence. And we got this postal worker tracking down this story, which is amazing. Hat tip to whoever that person is. But the federal prosecutors also said one of the two men claimed to have ties to Pakistani intelligence and had visas showing that they had traveled to both Pakistan and Iran. So, you know, these guys aren't innocent. No. And, and look, uh, people like this who, first of all, any individual, both American or foreign, even interacting with Secret Service agents should be properly vetted. Uh, nevertheless, uh, these two uh, individuals just happened to be not only foreign nationals, but also had uh, very suspicious travel plans or travel uh, uh, histories, including to two very uh, if you want to call them unsavory and potentially uh, enemy states of the United States, both Pakistan and Iran, which we, of course, know have uh, fin financial capabilities, which have exported various efforts in uh, this war of jihad around the world, which we've uh, most recently seen, unfortunately, now in Israel with uh, the death of these uh, innocent civilians. We've seen it uh, with the arming of the Taliban in Afghanistan and, of course, Iran funding uh, various jihadist groups from uh, Syria, Lebanon, and including uh, Palestinian organizations themselves. So this is really, a, like I said, a reminder that uh, individuals not only have to be vetted appropriately when they're coming into contact with federal law enforcement, but uh, the FBI really let the ball down on this one. And instead of focusing on MAGA grandmas, perhaps they could have focused on individuals like this who are actually trying to not only co-opt our law enforcement agencies, but potentially cause harm to our first family. Yeah. And, you know, there a couple of years ago after that whole incident went down in Colombia with the Secret Service and President Obama's detail, there was all this effort made to clean up what was going on there. Uh, this is a story that we're just getting started on. There'll be a lot more to come. Great to see, you, as always, George Papadopoulos. Thanks so much. Thank you, John.